Howdy, howdy, this is Mr. Potter. So we're doing a little experiment. This is our test one for our 3D rendering. And the question that's being asked is, which one is better to render? Because I've got a VM Windows 10 on my laptop, and it is often more convenient for me to render on my VM than having to dual boot into Windows 10, because then I don't have to leave my native operating system. I'm usually using uh, Ubuntu 16.04, uh, as my uh, native operating system, but working in this um, in the VM causes some issues. There's an error message that I get every time that I try and render on the Theta application, and it basically says that I'm not able to run at this uh, resolution, and my graphics is going to be degraded. Basically, it warns me about doing it, and so I wanted to do a little experiment to see which one was better. So what I did is I've actually rendered this spherical video twice. The first time I did it, I used the VM to render it. And the second time I did it, the identical video, I used the native boot Windows 10 to render it. And so that's why you see me switching back and forth. Right now, we're looking at the, uh, the VM boot. Um, and one of the things I noticed is that there is a difference in file size uh, with the VM. I ended up with the 42 megabyte file, and with the native boot Windows 10, I ended up with a 44 megabyte file. So clearly there's a difference in the video that I get out. And so there are three things that I wanted to look at. The first thing I wanted to look at is up here at the top, you'll notice there's a seam. And of course, anytime that you're dealing with a dual fisheye camera like the Theta uh, 360 camera is, you're going to see where that stitching is. This is what it looks like on the VM. And this is what it looks like on the native boot. So, again, I want to look at these differences and see, are the differences really that stark? And the thing I notice is that the VM kind of looks a little better. Now, I've taken a computer vision class. I know that when you degrade the quality of an image, you lose a lot of the accuracy, especially in lines. And that actually seems to be a benefit to us here, because we're losing that accuracy along that line. It's not as sharp a line, it's a much blurrier line. So the second thing I wanted to take a look at is over here I've got a notepad and I've written the word test several times. And so my question was for the written word, um, what differences am I going to see? And I've got it written with different intensities of writing utensils, starting with a marker, ending with pencil. And I wanted to see what the difference was between those. And then the third thing that I wanted to take a look at is on my actual laptop screen, I've got the exact same Windows 10 background. This is actually my VM that I've got running. And I want to know, what can I see on here? What degree of detail do I have on the laptop? Because I often use my laptop to, uh, to view things. And so if I want to show that in a 360 video, I want to know how effective that's going to be. So that's the purpose of this. So we're going to be using screenshots in the rest of this video to kind of talk about what we're looking at. So the first thing I'm going to look at is this text on this notepad. And so just really want to talk about it. At the top of the notepad, nearest the blue uh, bar, I've written the word test in metallic sharpie. Um, the second line is writing it in a blue pen. The third line is writing it using a very soft pencil. The fourth line is writing it using a very uh, uh, number two pencil. And then the last line is using highlighter uh, for the word text uh, test. So the second thing I want to look at here is the, uh, this is my room. So I'm going to go ahead and try and line these up as best I can uh, so you can see the seam up at the top. And so this is the seam uh, where the two halves of the theta image, the two fisheye lenses, get stitched together. So I'm going to try and move this over so we can get it to, to match pretty well so you can see. Uh, the one on the left is from my native boot, and the one on the right is from my VM instance. And you can kind of see, again, as before, uh, the native boot has a very obvious seam break, whereas the, uh, the VM one has a... Uh, it's a lot more subtle. And again, I'm not sure how much of that is due to smoothing. Uh, you know, these are the same image, just um, rendered with the different uh, cameras. 
And the third image I want to talk about is the view from my laptop. So again, the left image is from the native boot Windows 10. The right image was rendered on my VM. And so you, you know, we're looking at the keys, trying to look at any uh, detail that might be missing on the keys, um, as well as the uh, details on the screen. So looking at the keys, you can see they're about the same degree of blurriness. Not much is going to be seen here. Here's my entry key and my shift key on uh, each laptop. And for the image, uh, you can see, let me try and get those to be about the same size. So you can see that they um, are about the same. I really do see that these are very close to each other. So one other thing that I did to test this out is I actually compared the two pictures digitally. Uh, in other words, I, I changed them both to grayscale and uh, got rid of the blue. And so what happens is where the pixels are both white, they're going to show up as white. Where the pixels are both dark, they're going to show up as dark. But where one shows up as bright and the other one shows up as dark, in the case of the boot, where it natively boots to Windows 10, uh, that's going to show up as green. And where it nat natively is, is lighter on the VM than it is on the boot, it's going to show up as red. Now, I'm ignoring my arm because I didn't take them at the exact same instant of the video, but I'm looking at the text pad I've got over here and I can see, remember that the green is what shows up best for the uh, VM. And I can see I've got a little bit more of a green glow here at the top of the page, over here at the edge of the page. And then looking at the text, I can see that this green is a little bit more here, but I see red highlights as well. So I think this is kind of inconclusive looking at the text. Looking at the laptop, again, I'm not seeing that much of a difference, just a little bit of green and red uh, contrast over here. It almost looks like a little bit of a, of a bit shifting almost here, uh, negligible I think. Um, where my mouse pad is on my laptop, I'm noticing that the screen edge shows up quite a bit more. I, I see a little bit of red aliasing over here. And then the other thing that I'm doing is looking at the seam. And of course, because the red is my uh, VM and the green is my, uh, is my boot, um, again, I notice that real sharp delineation of the edge here uh, because it's a real difference in pixels. So that's what I'm looking for, trying to figure out which one's better. Because it is kind of a hassle to shut down one operating system and bring up another operating system with the sole purpose of rendering video. So my question here in this video is, is it worth it? So I'm going to have a link to the other video uh, down in the description if you want to see the full 360 video of it. Um, and what it does is it goes through the first instance on VM, the second instance on boot, and it kind of gives us an idea of what we're looking for. So once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.